Hi, I'm John Scholl. I'd like to talk about how we can improve customer service in your organization. I think there's a variety of steps that we need to do that absolutely work. Number one, we need to understand this is a strategy. You need to convince top management and leadership in your company that we're talking strategy. Uh, I think the number one reason that most organizations have weak customer service in the world is because we don't understand how money falls from the sky if we can implement a service strategy. We don't understand the strategic implications of it. Number two, the hiring of people is very important. Most organizations that are really customer driven are very, very careful about that, who they hire. They might hire one out of 100, one out of 50. Most of us, you know, if the guy's got a pulse, we hire him. And what happens in a lot of organizations, we have some dead people on our payroll. And, you know, my, I might have some really good programs on teaching people the art of customer service, but when you have people that don't love people, it's very, very difficult. Third thing that we have to do is you can have the nicest people in the world, but you have to really um, change some of the policies and systems and procedures you got in place so that we can really deliver this art of customer service. So you could have stupid rules, stupid policies, and employees love rules, policies, and procedures, and it just destroys your organization. Fourth thing that we got to have is empowerment. We need everybody to make fast, empowered decisions on the spot. It better be in favor of the customer. Now, in reality, it takes almost two miracles for a person to make a decision to spend even five dollars. Oh well. You know, because people just know that they're going to get fired if they if they make an empowered decision. You're never going to be a service leader unless you can get everybody in your organization to make fast, empowered decisions. The next thing I think that's important is yet. We have to train and develop the entire staff on the art of customer service. We think that from birth, everybody knows about the skills of customer service, just like being a good tennis player, a good soccer player. Uh, come on, this is a skill and it's an art. Here's the problem that we face. Every person you hire, whether they graduated from high school or college, they could go to any high school, any college for the rest of their life. There's not any of them that are gonna teach your new employee the skills and the art of customer service. So if you want superior customer service, you need to educate and train your whole staff. And you can't buy one dumb program, maybe from Service Quality Institute even, and think that it's going to change the life. So you hire some 22-year-old kid, you put him through this program for eight hours, and you think that all of a sudden this individual is going to change his performance and attitude and be perfect for the rest of his life. Never going to happen. Next thing that we got to do is we have to measure the results. What's the financial impact? So if we're creating this service culture, if we're building high-performing people, financially, how does money fall into your, to, to the treasury? We're looking at improving sales. We're looking at improving profits. What's the financial impact? Don't talk about people feel good, better. Don't talk about, hey, we've improved our customers. No, I want to know financially, what are the numbers? How does this impact the bottom line? If you want to dance with the CEO, if you want to dance with the leadership team, they're interested in only one thing. Show me where the money is. And you can do that if you deliver incredible customer service. So those are the steps I think you need to use in order to improve customer service in any organization in the world. I'm John Scholl. Thank you so very much.